Syrian state TV says the military has found a chemical laboratory which produces poisonous materials in the town of Joba on the outskirts of Damascus. Sources claim the rebels were planning to stuff shells with the chemicals and use them to attack the capital. Let's now get more from our Middle East correspondent Paula Slier. Um, hello there Paula. So uh, what do we know about what's been found there? Well, we know that the Syrian army has found chemical materials in the town of Joba, which is on the outskirts of the capital city of Damascus. Initial reports say that the Syrian army seized a factory that was occupied by a group of foreign-backed militants and that chemical materials were found inside that factory. Now, we do see canisters, we do see white packages that they have uncovered, and it does seem as if they were producing chemicals in this laboratory. There was also clearly written the word poison on these on, on on the outsides of these packages it says poisoned chemical substances made in Saudi Arabia so we do see that a Saudi factory if not factories are also involved we're also receiving reports that the rebels were planning to stop artillery shells with the chemical weapons that they were producing here and use them to attack Damascus this comes on the same day as heavy clashes are being reported near the capital on Sunday let me remind you that on on the 7th of July, armed rebels found, were found in possession of some 280 barrels of chemical substances. At the time, the Syrian ambassador to the United Nations said that the quantity found was enough to destroy a whole city, if not the entire country. And of course, we're seeing a lot of claims and counterclaims about exactly who is using these weapons. What can you say? Well, the use of chemical weapons has always been a red line for Washington and its allies. They've always constantly pointed fingers at the Syrian government and accused it of using chemical weapons, saying that if indeed there was any proof that they had, this would be the red line that they would not tolerate. But back in March, there was an attack in Aleppo, the second largest city in Damascus, and it was later found that the deadly sarin nerve gas had been used in that attack. Moscow conducted its own investigation and concluded that the Syrian rebels were actually to blame for the use of the gas. And Russia gave samples and documents relating to this to the United Nations last week. Russia's United Nations ambassador said that Western claims appear to be aimed at undermining investigations into the chemical attack. He said this when he explained the findings. The results of the analysis clearly indicate that the ordnance used in Kanal Asal was not industrially manufactured and was filled with sarin. The sarin technical specifications prove that it was not industrially manufactured either. The projectile involved is not a standard one for chemical use. Therefore, there is every reason to believe that it was the armed opposition fighters who used the chemical weapons in Khan al-Assal. It's very important to make the, the point that the United States claims that the regime is using chemical weapons, but these claims are without any kind of proof. And of course, the whole argument over the use of chemical weapons remains a hot potato, but without that kind of proof, the US and its Western allies are going to have a hard time of proving anything that they claim. All right, Artie's Paula Slear live. Paula, thank you very much indeed for that report. Syria's ambassador to the UN said the alleged rebel store of toxic substances was enough to devastate an entire city. And defense consultant Moin Rauf said it's now crucial to find out where the rebels are getting the chemicals from. This is a, a major turning point. Uh, the, military, the Syrian military has been doing an extremely good job of protecting the nation. And if they found this um, alleged uh, factory, then we need to know what the origins of the chemicals are. Have they come through the Turkish or, or Jordanian or Iraqi or Lebanese borders? The Western allies are, are intent on uh, toppling uh, Assad. And, and they're, they're going, again, uh, the, the case of, uh, you know, like Iraq or uh, Libya. They're going after one man and destroying a whole nation. So I doubt there'll be a major reaction. And, and the Security Council have not reacted to this situation prior to this, when the factory was found in Iraq. So I'm sure we won't hear from, uh, from them on this.